Now let's turn our attention to something that historically has been very popular with Microsoft on all of their certification exams on the server platform, and that has been printer pooling. What exactly is printer pooling? Make sure you understand this for the exam. It is the process of connecting one logical printer to multiple physical printers through multiple ports of the print server. Now that's a mouthful and it sounds complex, but it's not really. I'm actually going to demo this in a video entitled Enabling Printer Pooling, but in this video I want to talk you through it. What's going to happen here is that prints that get sent to that logical printer are automatically routed to the first idle printer. So what we're going to do, instead of having one printer out there that everybody's printing to and the print jobs are backing up in queue, and so then you send your print and you go stand around and wait for three or four other people's print jobs to print, even though a couple of them might be 80 pages. We can have multiple printers in one location and you send your print to that logical printer and it automatically routes your job to one of the printers that's not doing anything while the 80 page job is going on on one of the other printers. It's a really neat functionality. Again, Microsoft likes to test on the terminology, when you need it, all those sorts of things. Now, pay close attention to the terminology that Microsoft will use on the exam, in the documentation, and in the real world. A printer, as far as Microsoft's concerned, is a logical printer. It's that icon that you see in the print management tool. A physical printer is that device that you actually load paper into and get prints out of. It's what we plug into the wall, power up, and all that. Now, why do we want to use printer pooling? Well, the user can print documents without being concerned about which printer is available. But there are some configuration points to consider here. All printers that are pooled together must use the same driver. And there is some wiggle room here. They don't have to use the same driver, but they have to be compatible or use a similar driver so that it will work. But for the purposes of the exam, they all have to use the same driver. All the printers in the pool should be in the same place or in a very close geographical area because when you print to a printer pool, you have no guarantee of exactly which printer is going to handle your print job. The logical printer checks ports in the order they were added. Watch for that one. When I show you the enabling printer pooling in that video, I'll show you this step right here about the order in which you check the ports. Now you want to make sure that you place the fastest print on the first port added. So whatever your best printer is, whatever the fastest printer is, that's the first one that you want to load up. Now to set up a printer pool, here are the steps. And again, I'll go through these in a separate video. You want to right click on your logical printer and choose properties. You're going to go to the ports tab and select the checkbox enable printer pooling. And then you'll click each port where the printers that you want to pool are connected. Notice this assumes that you've already added your printers. You've already set the ports on those printers and they will show up in this box and you can choose which ones you want to add to the printer pool. Again, take a look at the video Enable Printer Pooling and you'll see this demoed. So that's the basics on printer pooling. Make sure this makes sense to you because we're going to talk about some other aspects of printers that Microsoft likes as well and it's very easy to get confused. So for now, make sure you're straight with printer pooling.